Alan Sun Tarot, and in this video I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite tarot decks for summer. I do have a couple oracle decks thrown in here as well. So let's get started. First I have the Star Child Tarot. I have the tarot size version. I just... I love this deck. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of the colors. I'm more drawn to work with it during the summer, although I will pull it out year round. And honestly, when I went to go film the spring one and then this one too, there were so many decks that I was like, you know what, I use these year round. So I really just tried to pull some of the ones that I really just used during the summer. But I love this for the colors. And we have the longer days and the shorter nights, especially here. It gets bright and sunny quite early now. And there's something about this deck that just really speaks to that shorter nighttime and longer day. Oh, it's so beautiful. And I just really enjoy the uh, serenity of this deck, which for me goes hand in hand with summer and relaxing. Taking time for yourself. So maybe inner work. I'm sorry, everyone is working on their houses around us. Oh, this is stunning. I want that to be me in the ocean every day. Oh, okay. So, Star Child Tarot. Stunning deck. Next, I have the Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann. So, this one, I mentioned in my walkthrough from this. This is the Mass Market uh, edition, by the way, by Hay House. I, um mentioned in my walkthrough of this that I fought for so long, so long to not get this deck. And I really just got it because I wanted something modern that was easy to relate to. And I actually really love it, but it really does give me that like endless summer bohemian feelings. <laughs> and the coloration is gorgeous, of course. But I know a lot of people have said like it kind of has that like summer festival feel and I, I get that. I just a lot of the depictions of like daytime and stuff really makes you feel like summer. I don't know if it's just the vibrant colors. There's so much life in it. And I didn't really pull out this deck unless requested <laughs> during the winter or fall, but I do have other decks that I like to work with. So I thought this was perfect to highlight, oh, for a summer deck. I mean, like, look at that. I love the cups for this deck too. Let me see, I don't wanna like go through too, too much, but I believe it's the Three of Wands where she's got the surfboard and she's looking out. Oh, I just, I love that one. And that is the one that just screams to me like summer. Here it is. I'm sorry. Last one for this one. Just endless summer. It's beautiful. So bright and happy. All right. So I love this deck. I'm so glad that I got it after fighting for so long. <laughs> okay, next I have Tarot Siren. This is the Marseille deck by Wandering or Oracle, excuse me. They also make the Marshmallow Marseille. So year round, I would normally pull from the Marshmallow Marseille if I wanted to use a Marseille deck. It's kind of holographic on the back. 
water almost. But during the summer, just the mermaids from this one. I just, I love it. It's so fun. It's done so beautifully. I love the traditional style, but the coloration is gorgeous. Like here you have fish. <laughs> It's just fun. The mermaids, the water, it all just feels so tropical. Like a vacation getaway. Again, with the coloration, that's a big thing for me. All right, tarot, siren. There's an accent over one of the E's. Sometimes I wanna say sirene, but I'm not sure, I'm sorry. I'm probably totally butchering it, but just so you can see once more. Okay, next I have the children of Letha. This deck, oh, I, really, I love it. I love it so much. So first when I got it, the darker borders kind of made me want to use it in the fall but children of letha midsummer it really is a summer deck yes there are some snowy or wintry cards depicted but it really feels like summer look at this one the birds oh i love these like fantastical made up creatures in this. And I think that's what makes it so like dreamlike. I just, I love it so much. Here's another really good one. So gorgeous. So yeah, Children of Letha, perfect. Midsummer, love it for summer, the whole summer. I actually started pulling some of these out early in May because I was ready. I was like, it's summer now. Backs. I do have the blackout edition, which I'm pretty sure is the one that you can still get now. And then I have sort of an honorable mention tarot deck because I did mention this one in my spring video, but in the spring one I said I would probably use this one year round, and that is true. I would use this one year round. It is the Shadowscapes tarot, and... Yes, I do pull from it year round because I just absolutely love it. Excuse me, love it. But it really is a summer spring deck. It's so gorgeous. The animals, the plants depicted. Ugh. Really beautiful. So yes, this is definitely just an honorable mention because I believe it's the same thing with the colors. It just gives me that like summer feeling. Using this deck, deck is very relaxing and I love it for that. It's very detailed, but for me that doesn't, that doesn't really stress me out. I like just kind of diving into the card, into this beautiful fantasy world. Oh, this is a gorgeous one. And the cups, it, this is the star, but a lot of them are depicted as so like watery. It's just gorgeous. I'm sorry, those are our lovely neighbors screaming. Um, then we have the two Oracle decks. I have Work Your Light Oracle. I use this hand in hand with the Star Child, so this was an automatic choice for this. Um, I do pull this out in spring and I use it all the way through around fall is when I start kind of not really feeling it <laughs> as much, but I love using this. The guidebook is amazing, and I can do um, a three card pool, which is always fun, or just a single card pool to start my day. And also sometimes I like to use it to end my day. I pull a single card from this while having some tea, relaxing in the evening time. And I think that's a really wonderful way to end the day. This is gorgeous. Uh, so this is so 
dreamy and it gives you that island getaway feeling which I know it's hard for me to say that because I we live in Hawaii but <laughs> it really just oh I love this so many of these I could sit there and go over every single one and just be like I love it I love it <laughs> so yeah so I'll use this all the way through to fall that's normally when I start backing off a little bit on using this one and that is I'm sorry by Rebecca Campbell and the artwork is by Danielle Noel who also does the Star Child here I'm sorry I don't think I said that in the beginning and then this is sort of an honorable mention kind of like the Shadowscapes but it is the sorry Isis Oracle oh I love this I'll probably use it year-round it is a very warm and oh this is gorgeous I'll show you the backs sorry this is the newer version and it's just lovely matte oh anyways um i use this the same way that i use the work your light oracle i may just pull one card or three cards maybe um same thing i like to use it in the evening time before bed or first thing in the morning It's just so lovely. The guidebook that goes with it is really great, but everything that it gives you on the card is enough to go off of. You don't need to use the guidebook. I just like to because I really appreciate how it's written. Oh, I love this. Rising Sun, the Divine Solar Child Reborn. Just so gorgeous. And I even love like some of these, they have like Pyramid of Light. So, I mean, they're not all, oh, this one's pretty too, Divine Sisterhood. So, yes, yeah, so I use this in the same way that I use Work Your Light. That's gorgeous. So, I say honorable mention because I intend on using it through the summer, and I've absolutely been loving it. Um, but I'm pretty sure this might be like a year-round deck. I just need to, that's what I need to do. I think maybe in between summer and fall kind of do like a year round or maybe go through all the seasons and next year before spring be like these are ones that I've used year round because I have a good handful where when I go to select some of these decks I feel like oh but I don't I think I mentioned that one in my spring one I'm like that's one of the year round decks and I do have some of those decks like the um the druid craft and the fairy tarot that kind of depict all the seasons and so I feel like you can use it year round no matter what so anyways so there you have it my favorite summer tarot decks with a couple oracle decks thrown in a couple honorable mentions sorry for all the home construction going on in the background but thank you so much for watching and please comment below some of your favorite decks to use during the summer thanks bye guys